Tom minces the controversial quail meat and combines it with the crayfish. And Lisa, who's also allergic to shellfish, has come to oh, check yeah. out her competition. That's my crayfish. Are you going to try it? Because I know you were... Uh... I don't think I can get this far and not... not try it. I'll have the big piece. Obviously, trying the mixture when you have a shellfish allergy is highly inadvisable, but it does prove that Tom means business in the competition. I'm going with that. Happy with the mixture, Tom wraps it around the quail's eggs, dips them in egg and breadcrumbs, and deep fries them. Next, he moves on to the garlic mayonnaise and sets about plating up his playful dish. OK. Go careful, guys. Don't drop my field. If I had time, I'd have built a fence around it. But listen to me, good luck on your non-fish fish course. They're either going to love it in the judging chamber or they're going to hate it. So Tom's done a great job on the sourcing and risked life and limb to make sure his crayfish dish is up to scratch. But will the judges agree? Come on. Well, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> What a surprise. <laughs> it, does, it does bring an instant smile to your face. It does. All it, it needs does. is a croaky melon and a couple of hoops. <laughs> it does. <laughs> I mean, the mayonnaise is lovely. The cooking degree on it's perfect. It's just that I think it could be a bit more fishy. Maybe incorporate langoustines in with the crayfish or... But they weren't maybe the one. In his langoustines in his in his area. I mean, this mm. is one thing you can say. I mean, everything is sourced within, you know, a few miles from this estate. Mm. Well, I'm very happy with this dish. It's delightful. This has a sense of theatre, and, and it certainly for does. Me, most banquet occasions, uh, you know, have to have a sense of theatre yeah. about them. I, I think this this does. That. If you take away the presentation, what you're left with is a bar snack. But I'm sorry, you know, the, the, the presentation... Don't be sorry about it, the, just well, accept it. No, I'm sorry for you, I'm not sorry for myself. The presentation is an integral part of this dish. They're asked to consider presentation in the preparation of a dish. There are plenty of times when I would sit down there with a pint of beer and wash this down very, very happily, but I do not happen to think that this banquet is the proper occasion to serve it. They had a very, very small amount of crayfish mixed with quail wrapped around a quail's egg. It's actually the notion of a fish dish uh, <coughs> well out of water. Presentation... Fantastic. I think the occasion of it coming on this little grass and stuff is amazing. But I just thought it just lacked a bit more fish. So I am literally going to sit on the fence on this one, just on the edge there. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not that fishy, is it? Could you identify the crayfish in it? If I was eating that blind, I couldn't tell you that that was crayfish. It's going to be criticised because it's not pure fish. Yeah. This was a pub dish, not at all suited to the banquet. So I'm only going to give it a six. This dish was absolutely wonderful. It made us all laugh. It tasted absolutely delicious. So I gave it a seven. There was still some work to do. I can imagine seeing this dish a couple of years' time and have been involved into one of his greatest dishes. But it's still a fantastic seven. For me, it was right down my street. thought it was executed perfectly, apart from it needed to be a bit more fishy. Seven. <laughs>